Hey guys, Sizzuk here, back in my Bakuman video. I guess we're gonna take a look at something a little bit older. <laughs> so this is the one of the Bakugan Resurgent Strider sets. So uh, this came out with Bakugan Resurgence uh, a couple of months ago at this point. Uh, I got these, uh, the only time I was able to ever find them was when I went to the Age of Auralis, the set after this uh, pre-release at Collected Comics in Fort Worth, Texas. Super awesome, really fun event. I uh, had a lot of fun there. Uh, got to meet Jet Kuso and all that, and he's super nice. Uh, it was a super fun event. I got two of these there, and then the week later uh, at my Target, one of them was clearanced out for like $10. It was kind of unbelievable. It was the, it was the one I didn't get. So uh, I originally was going to do videos on all three of them back then. It was in the middle of a move. Big, long, complicated story. I'm quarantined now, so <laughs> now I can do these videos. So these are not new whatsoever, these are very old. We're actually on the whole new set of Strider sets at this point, which I will get to as soon as they come into my local stores. But uh, we're going to take a kind of a quicker look at this. Since everyone knows what's in here, this isn't anything new. I'm just going to kind of go through this just because I want to make the video. So you can see this was actually packaged up right from the pre-release. All my cards are still in sleeves. Uh, everything is exactly how it was at the pre-release. Uh, I switched the deck out to make it normal again, but uh, yeah, I've been keeping these to make these my new demo decks to teach people instead of the first decks because these are a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, but now I can, now that I've done this review, I can put them in actual deck boxes and get rid of this giant box. But this is the Aquas Pyravian Ultra starter set that has Aquas Pyravian, Darkest Kobo, and Chaos Tertonium. Uh, it's got the 40 card deck, uh, like all these starter sets do. And that is absolutely not a challenge one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I've only messed with this a couple of times, because this is the one that the girlfriend used in the tournament. Uh, so I didn't mess with a lot of these guys too much, but I'm pretty sure that is not a one. So yeah, let's just crack this open. Uh, there's another reason I haven't done these, because one of my starter sets I used, one I used, uh, one of my cores got lost at the event. When I finally got home, I realized one of my cores was missing. Uh, I, I don't think it was stolen or anything like that. Um, my friends, uh, friends' friends came up and actually taught their kids how to play the toy battling game. I mean, used a bunch of the cores, so I think they just got mixed up with that somehow. Anyways, <laughs> let's get into this. It's got the instructions and checklist for Pyravian Ultra, which I'm probably going to need. If I remember correctly, we'll come back to that. It's got your three character cards. We got good old Cubbo. The only Cubbo I have. I gotta find that Aquas one, because apparently it's super good. 207. Pretty cute artwork. There's the Pyravian Ultra. Two Magic Shields. Really good. 402. And then there's Tritonium with two Flaming Fists. 205, and he lands on one of those fists, plus 600. Pretty decent. And speaking of those cores, just go in order here. We got our two magic shields, which is minus 500 and plus 500. Pretty easy and simple. Our two shields are plus 250 and then plus 150 and one damage. And then our two flaming fists are plus five damage and plus 150 and four damage. So pretty simple, good spread of cores. We've got our deck, which I'll get a look at in a second. And we have our Bakugan. Alright, first up, let's look at my favorite, Cubbo. So, actually, I have something to compare this to. Hang on. So a lot of you OG fans will remember, uh, during Bakugan's uh, height, Spin Master was wanting some of that girl money. So they invented something called Zoobles. I worked at Toys R Us when these came out, and these were one of the ones they passed out as free promotional things. I don't remember what its name is or anything, but this is its little house. And inside, got a little Zooble. And there's a, mag or a metal plate on top, and it opened. <laughs> and you could push it to make it blink. Zooble. Yep, that is exactly what Cubbo is. <laughs> Almost the same design, too. Uh, yeah, just fun fact for you. Uh, Cubbo is absolutely a Zubal. 
So let's get this open. There he goes. So he's actually pretty cool as far as opening goes because he opens up like his, his entire head is the ball. So he just kind of pops up. He's got two little arms that you can move all the way up if you want to, all the way down. His little nose, uh, I think actually does come out. Yeah, it comes out a little bit when he opens. And his little ears flip up like that. So he's super easy to practice with. You just gotta put his ears in and then just close them. He's super easy. So there's Cubbo. There's Cubbo. <laughs> then we got Tertonium. There he is. Tertonium is one of my favorite designs. I love turtles, and so Little Turtle Bakugan is super cute, and the fact that his back is the shell is so cool. And he's all uh, open, no manual parts or anything. And I actually love the white color scheme on him. I think it looks great. Tertonium, and then Pyravian Ultra. This is probably the worst Altos Brontes disease I've ever seen on a Bakugan Ultra. I mean, you can see just how many things stick off of this. Like, there's absolutely... If you wanted to roll it this way, it would just... It would stop. <laughs> there's no way. You have to roll it on its center wheel. And even then, it's got a lot of gaps in it. This is one I have no experience with because I have not played with it. Like I said, this was my girlfriend's deck at the pre-release, so I have no idea how it works. There's its arrow. Let's see if we can get it to open. Pretty nice open, actually. <laughs> Did a full flip, holds the core on its tail. I don't think it has any. Oh yeah, it does have manual parts. It's got two little wings down here, little wing bits. And I think, yeah, that's it. But that is Pyravian. Really cool design. Uh, its eyes aren't painted in, unfortunately. Right there. I might have to do that myself. Um, it's supposed to be like a big phoenix. Um, it kind of, the shape is a little weird. <laughs> It's supposed to have like these three long tails, but it kind of just makes it look like it's like this is its body, <laughs> and it that, it's kind of a weird shape. It looks more like a fish or something than a bird, but it does look really cool. Uh, I really want to get an Orlis one because I want to have like all the main character from the show. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this design is super cool. You can see all the feather detail inside. Very, very cool looking. Uh, as for closing it, I honestly don't know, so let's consort the rules. So fold the little bits in, its head goes in, its tail comes around. Is this one of the ones? Oh, man! I wish... They talked about this when this when the series first started, that they tried to design the Ultras to be like, multi, like multiple step things where you could close it and leave it. And so it would be easier to transform. I wish more of them did that. It just does not pop up that often. I wish more of them did this. This is great. All right. Uh, wings. Fold it in. This is, I think, the second time I've ever done this. So, he goes the back. All right. Uh, yeah, fold in little wing bits. I guess these fold in. All right. So, actually, not that bad, but... Uh, kind of difficult but man yeah that is definitely the worst ball shape they've done that i've seen so far really liking how in armored alliance they've kind of toned back the complexity to make it easier to actually play the game and because of that i think it actually brings up more creativity but uh i kind of i love how crazy they went with these first designs basically let's see it open again by the way because that was really fun man that does like a full flip like opens and then does it's almost like it opens like this and does a full flip that's awesome okay i might like bravian more now <laughs> let's put that off to the side and let's take a look at these cards i think i have them all in order well not in order but they're organized and i have uh crappy penny sleeves on them because that's all i had at the event whenever i went so here's what we got for the darkest cards, we have Sonic Shield. I'm not going to talk about every single card, just going to kind of run through them. You guys have seen these by now. It stops Fist and Flaming Fist. Darkest Snare, stopping a Magic Shield. That is one of the best cards, best flips in the game because everyone runs the 650 Magic Shield. Darkest Howl. 
Break a slicer, just one. Mind slip. Dark path. Darkest petrify. And for the Aquas cards, we got Unstoppable. Dark Waters, another really good card. Claw Cutter. Water to Ice. Uh, Flash Flood, choose an energy non energy card in play and returns its owner's hand. That can be annoying. And then for some more Chaos, these are the rares and stuff up, I think. Divine Inspiration was a common. And then we got the rare stuff. Uh, Riptide. You must reroll your Bakugan. If you open the reroll, the Bakugan gets 500 and draw two cards. Pretty nice. Dark Fortune. Search deck for an Evo, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. That's actually a really good card. I haven't seen it played too much, um, but I'm sure as the game progresses, these cards that you search out cards are going to be much more valuable. It's not in the sleeve because my girlfriend didn't run any Evo cards, of course. Then we got Shun Kazami. Really, really enjoy it when they give you actually good heroes and your starter decks. Great energy when you open a Bakugan draw card. It's a really, really good card. Then we got Dust to Dust. Lost at Sea. Flip a coin. Haven't seen any other flip a coin cards in the game. If Head stop the attack, I might just want to play that because that's fun to me, but it's probably not a good card at all. Another hero, Shargo Ronin. When you open, it gets 100. Karmic Balance. I love this art. This would look awesome in Hexfoil. Uh, plus three Frost Strike to a Chaos Bakugan specifically. Uh, Mud Pit, 400. And then... Dabbing Cubbo for the last card. Dazzle. <laughs> and that is the deck. Pretty fun deck, if I remember. Um, nothing too crazy. Not, not any crazy gimmicks or anything. Just mainly a couple of Aquos flow cards, and that's about it. Uh, seems like a really fun deck. You get some good hero. You get Shun, which is a really good hero. And some decent cards in there. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't believe there's any Evos in the deck, but it comes with Dark Fortune. So that's super weird to me. Um, just seems like like someone messed up and they were like finalizing the deck for to send it out to be made, I guess. I don't know why you put that card in here and not have Evo cards in here. And the fact that there's no Evo cards, period, kind of just bypassed that whole aspect of the game. But as far as like a learning deck, it's a decent deck. I, I wish I had Evos. I'm beginning to remember why I don't like this deck. <laughs> uh, I wish I had Evos, but besides that, it's not a terrible deck. Uh, but yeah, that is our Pyravian Ultra Aquos deck for Bakugan Resurgence. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, questions or comments, of course, let me know below. Uh, with all this quarantine stuff going on, I'm going to try and get some gameplay video shot. We'll see how well that goes. But that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a nice day.